Hey, what's up guys? Xbox Kid here, and time to give you a nice little look at Windows 7. As you can tell, I've upgraded to the beta, and it, it actually works well enough that it runs easily as well vi as Vista. Uh, it, it seems to use way less resources. As you can see, my CPU is struggling a little bit, because, you know, I'm recording the screen and everything, but... I can tell you that it's honest, quite honestly, it is better than Vista. Yeah, and you'll... I recommend you download it from the link in this. I recommend you download it. Go to Microsoft's site. They'll give you um, uh, the activation code and everything. Oh, there, you can now have a slideshow running in the background and everything. Uh, it's a lot better. So let's uh, let me show you a couple of features of it. We're gonna open a couple of windows here. Now let's say we want to compare to YouTube channels here. In this case, my channel and CGS zero is over here. So we so move to the side here and this one to the side here, and we can have two I'm windows sorry. like that. You know really we can also me. move it up to here and get it to go full screen. You highlight this yeah. little side yeah. here, and you'll see through to your desktop. Then click to go to it. You also have the navigational features of Vista, such as this weird thing. We all have, I mean, and you now have this sort of thing that shows you um, uh, your windows and everything. Do yoga, that was a bad You can idea. swap between them like this, you can close them. You know? There's also these new things called jumpers, in which you can, like, basically whatever you've played recently, like in Windows Media Player. In this case, it's movies and songs and stuff. It's all there. Um, there's a few other th cool things you can do with it. Now, of course, you have the same little um, gadgets here from Vista and everything. Only now they're like movable and the sidebar is gone. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you personalize it, a cool thing is you can create your own theme. And the themes basically are... They can be either one or two or three or just a ton of a slideshow in the background, as you see here, as it keeps changing. Now you can change the window color, and this also, if you look down at the, if you look down at the bottom here, uh, changes uh, some things there. So that's cool. Windows Media Player's design has also been simplified and it's a lot easier. So here we're gonna go down to we can park here. And uh, play. Then we hit this here to go to now playing. So as you can tell, Media Player has been simplified quite a bit, and you can just move it to the side here if you want to just put it there, you know, which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, you can do quite a bit here if you want, and you can now like pin things down here to here, like Windows Explorer and stuff. Um, let's pin Halo down here for a second, and we can basically activate that at any time. Mine's on my computer now. On pin I. Mine's on computer, I get these old ones. Okay. The sidebar is a lot like Vista's, only it's a bit better. Like if things have other options, they'll show up here now. Let's go to all programs. Um, yeah, there's quite a few things that you can do. You can send feedback. Uh, there's a couple other changes I've noticed, such as... What the heck is... We can still search. Now you'll notice that um, a paint here has kind of been redone to be a bit more like Photoshop. It's a lot better. You can sort of like select different shapes make arrows, you know. So it's better than it used to be. All, most old apps still work. I've had a few problems with a couple things. 
But other than that, it, I haven't really had, I don't have any complaints, and I trust the beta actually enough to have it run as on my main desktop here. All my files are here, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, just to show you a quick preview of my next video, I suppose. I'll show you what's on the way here. It's basically a nearly finished version of Null DC I've been editing. Now, you're probably going to see some lag here. Keep that in mind. Actually, let's get you the full benefit of it. No, I don't want to show that off just yet, I guess. So, here's a perfect Dreamcast emulator, almost anyway. It's getting there, though. It's taken me a while to put this together. Um, and it should be completed soon. Yes, I own all the ROMs and the ISOs I have in real life. I, I don't have the original Sonic Adventure 2, I have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. But same thing, it's even more content. But as you can see here, or maybe can't see because I'm using the capture software, it's running pretty much perfect. It's actually going a little slower because of the capture software, so I'll save that for a later video. But as you can see, that's about it. Um, everybody download this. The link is in the description. It's Great. I highly recommend Windows 7 over Vista. The only thing that kind of bugs me is this here in the corner, but even that can be removed somehow. So, enjoy, and Xbox Kid out.